Hello everyone. So today I am going to show you how to replicate gameplay cues. By that what I meant is here the bigger screen is of, of course the server and if I collect a sword now you see you get a sound and a particle effect but if I collect the sword from a client as you can see the particle effect was visible from the server let me show this here see particle effect is visible from the server but it does not happen in the owning client so that's what we are going to solve here by the way this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system tutorial series i'm doing but to understand how to replicate gameplay cues it's not necessary for you to have watched all these episodes before and also you can download the updated project files of this project from the patreon page not just that you can download any project that i have done in my channel from the patreon page so with that said now let's get started on today's task so the sword is collected here in this GA collect sword and here I play this execute gameplay queue on actor so this is not replicated so that's what we want to solve so I have this GACLM basically a, an empty gameplay ability it does not have anything but I have used this as the parent class of other abilities that I have created so that I can implement some of the common functions in this parent gameplay ability but I haven't made this GA collect sword a child of GACLM but I'm gonna do that right now so that I can implement a replicated way to play gameplay cues on this gameplay ability so i can use it from here i could actually do that here as well but i want to have it in a common place so that i can reuse the same function okay so ga collect sort go to class settings and as the parent class i'm going to select g a c l m right compile now go to the GLS G A C L M and the event graph so this is what we want to do execute gameplay queue on actor in a replicated manner so for that here let me paste away let me copy this and paste here so we can create the function that we need a custom event I'll call this execute game play queue replicated okay and we need this and also as the target so execute gameplay queue on actor should I yeah we could give the target also as a parameter okay now let me duplicate this function twice and I'm gonna name this execute queue server and then execute queue multicast I'm gonna set up a basic remote procedure call here so I'll mark this one as run on server and mark this one as multicast now in the multicast I'll use to this actual call to execute gameplay queue on act and here if i has authority i'll directly call 
execute Q multicast like this. If not, I'll call execute Q server with the same parameters. And here, what I have to do is just call this execute multicast like this. Let me get some space. Okay, now uh, I think actually it would be better instead of calling this target if I call it target actor. That way it would be more clear, otherwise, you might confuse with this target. Okay, now compile. Now instead of this, I can call execute gameplay queue replicated. Now I can use this same queue and the same parameters and the target actor, the same actor that I have used here. Now I can get rid of this previous function and call now let's see see now i get the sound from the client as well check the server yeah we still get from the server and that's actually all i wanted to cover in this episode so now you can use this function to execute any gameplay queue in a replicated manner in any of the child gameplay abilities that you might create using this parent gameplay ability so thanks for watching updated present files will be available here for the download in patreon page i'll leave the link in description below and from tomorrow onwards let's continue with the melee combat system in this project i just wanted to fix this issue that i had here before continuing with the rest of this stuff so see you tomorrow don't forget to like and subscribe and goodbye